Hey guys, you're about to watch another Trish Talks. I just wanted to give a trigger warning that this does talk about eating disorders. So take that into consideration. There is a message at the end and there's resources in the description box below. Enjoy. I just don't understand. You want to be with me for eternity, don't you? Yeah, I love you. I want to be with you forever. You're it for me. So then why won't you turn me? Because you're doing it for all the wrong reasons. You don't even know my reasons. Well, tell me then. Because I want to be with you for eternity, duh. What else? But you haven't even tasted, you know. What if you don't like it? I've been on SlimFast since the age of 19 to 18 years old. Vanilla sawdust tastes like a vanilla milkshake if it means staying skinny. Exactly, I knew it. You're just doing it for superficial reasons. You want to be a vampire so you can be skinny? I mean, look at you, e-boy. Your chiseled cheeks, your ripped abs, you're literally glowing. I knew it, just superficial reasons, you know. If that's the reason you want me to turn you, I'm not doing it. You know what, just, just forget I said anything. Sorry. Okay. I'm glad you agreed to go to therapy. We gotta talk about your issues with food. Honestly, my therapist said it had nothing to do with food and everything with me just not wanting to be a human, so I guess we're working on that. Good, because once we turn you, you become my wife. There's no going back. You understand that? Yes, 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 absolutely I do. No more solid food cravings, no more counting calories, no more gravy McDonald's. They don't have blood at McDonald's, do they? That's not funny. Just a joke. Sorry, just a joke. Not the right time. Here, I want you to try something. What is that? Is that sugar? I can't have sugar this close to the wedding, e-boy. No, it's type O, straight from Cedar sinai It's, it's blood? Yes, I have to see how your body reacts first. It's just for testing. I wanna see how your body reacts. <sighs> this is amazing. And it's keto? What's, I don't know what keto is. I don't know what that means. Mm. Can I take all of this? This is what my body's been craving. This is what I've needed and no sugar. No, this is for testing purposes only. You're still immortal. You can't live off of this. Let's go, we need to get you some real food now. Okay, you go, I'll catch up with you. I just gotta use the restroom real quick. Okay. What are you doing there? What are you drinking? I'm sorry. I'm craving it. My body needed it. I think I'm already turning. I didn't beat you yet. You're not turning. Are you drinking blood as a diet now? It's the only thing that doesn't make me feel like I'm 500 pounds. Your body is beautiful, but it's not healthy. How dare you? Did you eat anything all day? Just this. No doctor supervision? I love you, but I can't marry you. I can't let you do the same mistakes I did. What are you talking about? You're so so skinny, you're so perfect. That triggers me. You wanna know why? I started dating this girl when I was alive and I was happy. I was in love. We would go on dates, eat dinners. I started gaining weight. It's happy weight, healthy weight, you know? You know what was all over my social media? Look how fat he got, look at his face, look at his body. All the comments was about how much weight I gained. I, I can't even picture you being fat. I wasn't. I used to skip meals, forget to eat before, but once I found love, I was so happy. It's the most energy I've ever had. I felt so alive and everyone wanted me to starve. And now you're starving for eternity. The ultimate liquid diet. I'm pale, I'm gaunt. Other people have to suffer for me now. I don't want to live that life. I don't want you to live that life. I don't want you to suffer for me. Uh, E-boy, I had no idea. Nobody does, because I'm a guy. And guys can't possibly have D what I have. Don't say it. Eating disorders. <laughs> we don't have to wait to get married, but we have to wait to turn you. I'll start eating again, I promise. It's not that easy. 
It's not about food or being human. There's something deeper, something psychological. It's not your fault or my fault, but you can get help. Will you do that for me? I want to, but I need your help. How long do you think it's going to take? It varies. I waited 108 years just to meet you. But I'll wait 108 years more until you get better. I'll protect you. I'll protect you from wolves, from vampires, from yourself. I wish I could save you. You did. <sighs> Hey guys, thanks for watching another Trish Talks. This is one of our first Trish Talks that deals with eating disorders. Now, uh, a lot of people in the US, I think it's like 30 million people uh, currently suffer from anorexia. It can be treated and you can have a happy, healthy life. While it does largely affect females, especially in their young teen years, it also affects males heavily, sometimes later on in life. Comments and words mean a lot and they can do a lot more damage than you think. So when you're calling someone fat, calling someone skinny, commenting on someone's eating or lack of eating or whatever the case is, sometimes it can cause more hurt than help. And I think it's really important to watch our verbiage and watch how we talk to each other online, in school, and all around. Anorexia and other eating disorders are very common, unfortunately, and they need to be taken very seriously. If you need help for any eating disorder, I will link it below. If you are male and female, just know that this could affect you or non-binary. This can affect literally any person, any human. And it, there's a variety of reasons. One in five people with anorexia have caught, gotten suicide and it can be really, really scary. So please seek help. It causes anxiety, stress, and other physical ailments and we just want you to live and want you to survive and want you to have a healthy healthy life so please share this with anyone that you think needs to hear this message remember we are using fake blood in this but it is juice and these juice cleanses are also not healthy your body needs solid food three times a day don't forget to eat don't skip meals don't get too hard on yourself therapy and patient centers work wonders you're not alone in this you can get help there will be all the resources in the link below thanks for watching this trish talks and we'll see you next time